Oh, hey. Don't mind me, I'm just here at Entrada's amazing amenity center, getting a good workout in. Before we talk about this amazing community here, let's head outside and talk a little bit more. Now that we're outside, we can talk a little bit more about the community of Entrada. This is a new construction community by the builder DR Horton, and the prices are gonna start in the mid 300s. This is gonna be a great location if you're looking for bang for your buck, if you're looking for lifestyle, and also if you wanna be 20 minutes to the beach. Entrada is located within St. Johns County, and really we're in the heart of St. Johns County here. We're only about 15 minutes from downtown St. Augustine. We're only about 15 minutes from St. Augustine Beach. So really an ideal location if you're trying to get the lifestyle of living in Old Town, Florida. Entrada is located right here on State Road 207 and it's sandwiched between US 1 and 95. So if you need to get somewhere within the town of St. Augustine, super easy by hopping on 207, getting right on US 1. Or if you need to go outside of St. Augustine, you're a three minute ride right up to 95. So if you need to go to Jacksonville, you need to go to Orlando, super simple to do from this location. So we're standing behind the amenity center here at Dior Horton Entrada. Right behind us, you can see they have a splash pad for kids. They have a tot lot beyond that, just a little playground area. And the rest of the amenity center, you have a big conference room over here. You have a beautiful resort style pool. And as you saw earlier, you do have a nice exercise room with free weights and machines. One of the great things about the location of the amenity center is that it's actually in the front of the community. So whether you're leaving the community, you're coming into the community, you can stop here if you need to hit the gym, if you wanna take a dip in the pool. That's very easy to do because it's, it's within walking distance or biking distance from everything here in the community, but it's also at the entrance and the exit of the community too. So it makes it very convenient. Another thing you need to know about this community is that there are two different styles within DR Horton and Trotta. You have the DR Horton Express and you have the DR Horton Emerald Series. Now the main difference between these two different styles is gonna be the finishes that come in the home. In the Express section, this is gonna be more of your bang for your buck section. So you're gonna get rolled vinyl flooring and you're gonna get Vermica countertops. Now in your DR Horton Emerald series, you're gonna have wood looking tile and you're also going to have granite or quartz countertops. That's gonna be the main difference aside from price on both of those communities. Let's take a look at the express section with the Cali floor plan model. It's one of my favorite floor plans. Let's check it out. Let's talk a little bit about the numbers here for the express section of DR Horton and Trotta. So if you're looking to buy a single family home here in the area, it's gonna cost you at the bottom of the barrel for the smallest floor plan, it's gonna be $335,000. And if you're looking at the higher end, as of right now, that's about $410,000 for an express section home. So the, the higher you go up in square footage, maybe the position of the lot, if it backs up to the water, if it backs up to preserve, that's really gonna make the difference in what the purchase price is gonna be because all of the finishes are exactly the same. Now, when you're talking about the HOA for the year, the HOA for the year, this entire community for express homes is going to be $100 a year. Now that's really cheap, right? So there's gotta be a catch. Well, there's also the CDD as well, the Community Development District. That, that's paid along with your taxes and that number is $2,616 a year on top of your HOA. So altogether, you have $2,716 that you need to account for that's gonna pay for your HOA and your CDD on top of your mortgage. So we walked right over here to the Camellia floor plan, which is a part of the Emerald series here in DR Horton and Trotta. And we talked about the main differences, which are gonna be the finishes that are available in the home. And as you can see behind me, you see the herringbone tile on the kitchen for the backsplash. You see the quartz countertop right here. And just below us here, we have the wood look tile too. There are some other differences between the Emerald series and the Express series. Of course, price is one of them, but those are the main things as, as you're visually walking through through these homes that will definitely be different. Now the HOA and the CDD is, is very similar to the Express homes, but the Emerald series homes are actually kept behind a gated portion of DR Horton and Trotta. So your HOA is only $30 more a year. So that $2,616 CDD is still the same for every house in this community, but your HOA is just $30 more for the entire year. So it's 130 bucks for the entire year. You should be looking at $2,746 
on the annual for your HOA and CDD combined. So pricing in the Emerald series is gonna be a little bit more expensive than the Express section of DR Horton and Trotta, but that's because you get a lot nicer finishes in the Emerald series homes than you do in the Express. So what's the pricing starting at with the Emerald series home here in Entrada? Well, the cheapest home that you can find as of right now is gonna be $370,000, and that's for around a 1,700 square foot home. The most expensive in the DR Horton Emerald series section right now is gonna be $440,000. So it's still very affordable if you're looking at this community versus the rest of St. Johns County. So let's talk about some of the deals that DR Horton has going on within this community specifically. Now, if you're able to close on a home before the end of June, so June 30th, 2023, they're gonna buy down your interest rate. Now, it depends on what loan you go with. If you're going with the government loan, FHA or VA, they're gonna buy your interest rate down to 5.5%, so 5.5%. If you're looking for a conventional loan, they're gonna buy it down to 5.75%. And right now, with interest rates hovering somewhere between 6.3 and 6.5%, that is a huge savings, not only on the monthly, but through the total life of the loan. So the interest rate incentive may not be available depending on how much demand they have for each community, but pretty much across every community that they have here in Northeastern Florida, especially here in DR Horton and Trotta, they are paying $10,000 towards your closing costs on every single home. So that's $10,000 that you keep in your pocket and that DR Horton will pay on your behalf. Now, if you're worried about your personal timeline, you can find some relief in knowing that this community is only about a third occupied. In total, they're gonna to have 950 homes here at DR Horton and Trotta, and they're only about halfway done through the building process. So if you do have a little bit of a longer timeline, you can't move by June 30th, there still will be some opportunities available right here. As I said before, DR Horton and Trotta is located right on State Road 207, so it's super easy to get around town here, but also get around Northeastern Florida as well. If you wanna go to the beach, that's only gonna be about 15 minutes from this location. If you wanna go to downtown St. Augustine, have a nice date night, go out for a drink, that's also gonna be 15 minutes from this location. If you need to go up to Jacksonville International Airport, that's gonna be about 45 minutes to an hour. Uh, depending on traffic from this location because we are right by 95. So we are here in St. Johns County. So we are a part of the St. Johns County School District. The schools here for the elementary school is gonna be the Webster School. For middle school, that's gonna be Murray Middle School. And for the high school, it's gonna be St. Augustine High School. Now, of course, as this community grows, as this area grows, those things will change. But as of right now, this is what it's known for. All right, guys, so let's talk about some developments here in the area of Entrada, right on 207. We're actually about a two minute drive from the entrance of Entrada. Right behind us, you can see we have a brand new Publix with a liquor store. Flagler Health Plus is putting a primary care facility right over here. They also got a Marco's Pizza, they got a barber, and they also have a dog groomer right in this little plaza here. And really on 207, there was not much on 207 up till a couple years ago. And then we've started to see development after development after development come to this little area here. If you go closer to town, you have the Borland Grover Ambulatory Center. They just put that up. They just built the VA hospital brand new. It opened last year. That's down the road here on 207. They have a rehab facility just up the street here too. And then just down at the intersection of 95 and 207, they built a best bet. They're gonna be putting some car dealerships out there. There was talk of a hospital going in in that corner as well, but I'm not sure if that's still going to happen, but a lot of stuff is going on right here on the main road of 207 and that's including DR Horton and Trotta. So it's growing with the growth of this neighborhood. All right, guys, so we wanted to grab a bite to eat. We're about 10 minutes from Entrada. We're actually right here on US-1. We're coming at one of my favorite spots here. It's called Ned's Southside Kitchen. This is pretty much a spot where only locals go. If you're really a tourist here in town, you're not visiting this location. Uh, so let's go ahead and check it out. Guys, and that is it. I'm super full from what we got at Ned's. The Shrimp Jackson is my go-to. So if you are hungry, make sure you check out Ned's Southside Kitchen. If you found that you got a little bit of information, a little bit of knowledge, a little bit of insight into what living in Entrada here in St. Augustine in that beautiful new construction community, do me that solid and tap that subscribe button below. Like the video and comment if you have any additional questions about the community of Entrada or living here in St. Augustine. 
If you're looking to buy, sell, or invest, make sure you reach out directly to me, whether that's a phone call, a text, or an email. I'm here for you.